Hi, Kevin here from aquastarcreative.com. Today I'm going to show you how to take a quick sketch and then turn it into a nice modern logo. This tutorial is perfect for beginners as we can create this using some simple techniques. Let's head over to Illustrator. Click on New File. I'm going to select the web option 920 by 1080 pixels. I will keep the other settings as they are. Ok, so I'm going to bring my logo sketch into Illustrator for reference. I will find that by going to File, Open and selecting it from my project folder. I drew this in literally a few seconds so please forgive the quality of it. I will drag it into my main canvas. That fits nicely. I'm going to go to the Layers panel and I will name this Logo Sketch. I will lock the layer. I will close the sketch file that I brought into Illustrator. Go to File, Save as Silver Hills Logo. Press Save, then OK. Click on the new layer icon. Call this layer Main Circle. If your stroke is on, turn it off for now. Change the colour to black. Press OK. Select your ellipse tool from the tools panel or press L on your keyboard. Hold in Shift and draw in a circle. Make the selection tool active. The shortcut is V. Reposition the circle so it marries up to the sketch. Pull out one of the corners to adjust the size. That'll do nicely. I'm just going to take the opacity down to see how it looks. Then take it back up. Go back to your ellipse tool. Change the colour to white. Swap the fill and the stroke. You can press X to do this. Make the stroke 10 points. Holding in shift I'm going to draw in a circle. Activate the selection tool and move it into place. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Select both circles. Click on both the vertical and horizontal distribute center buttons. Click on the white stroke, then go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke, which will turn it into a shape. OK, so let's lock that layer. Click on Create a New Layer. Call this Mountain Background. Select your Ellipse tool from the Tools panel or press L on your keyboard. Select this grey colour. Again while holding in shift, draw in a circle. Make your selection tool active. I'm going to drag the circle into place and resize it slightly. Unlock the main circle layer. Select all three circles to make them active. Click on the horizontal align center button followed by the vertical align center button. I'm just going to make a quick adjustment to my sizing. Lock the main circle layer again. Select the rectangle tool or press M on your keyboard. Draw in a rectangle like me. Press V to make the selection tool active. Try and line it up so it's slightly above the halfway point. Select both grey shapes. In the properties panel under Pathfinder, click on minus front. Lock the layer. Create a new layer. Call it Mountains. 
I'm just going to double click on the layer to change colour. You don't need to follow this. Personally, I like to keep the panel organised. I'm going to hide the mountain background and main circle layers for a moment by clicking on the eye icons. My logo sketch is skewed somewhat, so I'm just going to activate the ruler tool next so that I can get my sizing correct. Press Ctrl or Command R on your keyboard. From the top, drag your guide down. I'm going to click on the colour picker and change it to black. Select your pen tool from the tools panel or press P. Swap the fill and the stroke so that it's only the stroke active. Make the stroke size 20 points. Now let's trace in the lines of the mountain. Start from the left. Click on where the guide starts. Simply click to make a point at the first peak, then draw straight back down to the guide. Press V to make your selection tool active. Click on the canvas to deselect that triangle. Press P to select the pen tool again. Like before, draw in your mountain simply clicking to make an anchor point on each peak. Finish it off by dragging it right down to the guide. Press V for the selection tool again and click on the canvas. Press P to select the pen tool and as before finish off the last piece of your mountain. Perfect. Press V to make the selection tool active and drag over these three shapes. Go to Object, Path, then Outline Stroke. Let's make it one shape by going to the Properties panel and under the Pathfinder options, click Unite. Turn on the visibility of all the layers. Click on the mountains and drag them into a better position. I'm just going to change the colour briefly. Anything will do. I'll go for the screen. Select the rectangle tool or press M. Draw in a rectangle just below the grey shape. Make sure the rectangle and mountain shape are selected. Go to the pathfinder again and click on minus front. Change the colour to black. Make sure your selection tool is active and drag the shape into position. Go back to the colour picker and select white. Select the pen tool or press P on your keyboard. Similar to earlier, draw over the black lines, clicking on each mountain peak. When you get to the bottom right, if you hold in shift, you can drag to create a perfect line to connect the shape. Select your selection tool, click on the shape that you just created, go to object, arrange, send backwards. Excellent. Lock the layer, press Control or command R to close the ruler tool and press Ctrl and Command plus the semicolon button to hide the guide. I'm just going to bin the sketch layer now as essentially we have recreated it. Click on the new layer icon, rename this Silver Hills. Click on the type tool or press T on your keyboard. I'm just going to click by the side of the logo, type in Silver Hills in uppercase, then highlight it. Go to the character panel. I'm going to select the font Cheap Pine Sands, which I downloaded from Adobe Fonts. You can also do this with your Creative Cloud subscription. 
I'm going to make the type 160 points. I will make the letter spacing 170. Make the selection tool active. Change the text colour to white. Press OK. Drag the text into position. I'm going to adjust the letter spacing to 198. I'm just going to readjust it again. Lock the layer. Create a new layer. Call this since 1983. Select the type tool again. Click on your canvas. Go to the colour picker. Select white. In the character panel, we're happy with cheap pink sans the font but change the size to 74 points. Pick the selection tool. Drag the text into your logo. Highlight the text. Type in since. Press the spacebar six times to make a gap. Then type in 1983. Make the selection tool active again. Drag the text into position. Lock the layer. Create a new layer. Call it Skeeples. I'm going to go to File, Open, then select this file. I found this image on Google by searching for Skeeples. Feel free to use one similar. With the selection tool active, click on the image. Press the button Image Trace in the Properties panel. In the drop down menu, select Silhouettes. Click on the Image Trace panel box. Make the threshold 240. That's much better. Press Expand, which will now convert it into a vector shape. Go to Object, Transform, then Reflect. Press OK. I'm just going to zoom right in as we have a little imperfection at the bottom. Click on your pen tool or press P. Just quickly draw in a shape to fill this little white area. When you make the second anchor point, simply hold and pull to make the curve. Then connect the rest of the shape. Press V for the selection tool. Drag over the skeeple so that both shapes are selected. Go to the Pathfinder in the Properties panel and click on Unite. Press Ctrl or Command 0 to zoom back out. Click on the skeeple. Go to the top right edge and rotate it like so. Make sure it's still selected and press Ctrl or Command C followed by Ctrl or Command V to make a copy. Go to Object, Transform, then Reflect. Press OK. Perfect, we have created this nice X shape. Drag over both the poles. Go to the Pathfinder again and select Unite. Drag the shape into our main canvas. Just place them at the side for now. Pull on one of the edges to make the ski poles smaller. Click on the colour picker and select white. Drag the poles onto the logo and place it between the since 1983 text. I'm going to quickly adjust the size further and reposition it. I'm just going to unlock every layer.
Click on the main Silver Hills text and take the sizing down to 156 points. Let's move the since 1983 along with the ski poles up. Well that's our graphic created. Feel free to experiment with the text or even the colour as you can get some great results. I'm Kevin from AquastarCreative.com. Thank you for watching.